You see the picture in this video? It says Rashida Strober, the dark skin activist, defending dark skin since 1998. Rashida Strober, the dark skin activist, defending dark skin since 1998. And what is the thanks that I have gotten from black people, including dark skin, light skin, brown skin people? I have gotten, let's, let's put this in historical context. When I introduced dark skin on the scene, in terms of social media, I'm the first to do this on social media. I got mocked. Black people mocked me. They said, what the hell is a dark skin activist? And you know what they did? You know how they thanked me afterwards? They turned around and copied me. They turned around and created derivative channels based on my work. Dark skinned women did this. Light skinned women did this. Even black men did this. They didn't say, how can I help Rashida Strober and by bolstering her platform so as to pay homage and respect for the lane she created that no other dark-skinned female gave a damn about, no black person gave a damn about prior to social media. What they did is stole, and you have the nerve. Some of you, you bring your, ugh, it's despicable to me. You come on my channel and tell me what I need to do. No, let me tell you something. You're not going to tell me what I need to do. I created this entire fucking lane regarding dark skin activism. You're not going to tell me what I need to do when I know for a fact. And some of you weren't even born. But you have the nerve to come up on my channel. The woman that gave you the privilege and authority. The right to talk about dark skin. You think you're going to tell me what to do and how to feel? You've lost it. Don't waste your comments. Don't waste your time. Because I'm taking those comments and balling them up in my head and throwing them in the trash. They're meaningless. Because you haven't, nobody's done what I've done. I love how people like to, Lupita Nyong'o, let me talk about her. Lupita Nyong'o, you're not the dark skin activist. You have by default benefited off of Rashida Strober's work from 1998. When you came into the acting industry, you were not focused on dark skin. Facts. You were not focused on dealing with dark skin on a platform in terms of creating an actual platform in the advocation of dark skin and anybody saying that she was you're a fucking bold faced liar and that applies to all other dark skin light skin brown skin women none of these women ever thought to speak on dark skin as a platform i am the first person in history to do it and like i said and i want to be real clear about this Black people thank me by stealing from me. Black people thank me after mocking me after the Kendrick Lamar beef that I had in 2015, which is the event that brought the idea, the topic of colorism and darkism to the social media masses. That is the historical event that marks how colorism became a topic. After that, that's when black people started mocking Rashida Strober, the dark skin activist who introduced the topic. And then they began creating derivative channels. And I'm going to say this shit to the day I die. I ain't going to let you win. You're not going to win this, 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 this battle here. Actually, I see it as a war. You're not going to mock me, steal from my work, create channels, speaking about colorism and dark skin and get all these views. And think that I'm going to fucking remain silent. That will never happen. So the folks that's coming on my channel. That's leaving these stupid. Ignorant. None thought out comments. Telling me what I should do. You can save your typing space. Because that shit is falling on deaf ears. I am never going to stop. The show now. Is Rashida Strober. The dark skin activist. Being victimized ripped off and stolen from by her own people regarding dark skin they mocked me then they copied me 
They mocked me, then they copied me. They said, what the hell is a dark-skinned activist? They laughed when I was made donkey of the day for calling out colorism and darkism, which was not done before on social media. And then they turned around and created channels regurgitating the dark-skinned activist's original work. That's a fact. People don't like the truth. But I'm going to beat it and jam it in your ear, in your consciousness, because I'm a fact teller. Not only am I the world's first and only dark-skinned activist, I am a fact teller. Let's go back to 1998, before there was a, so, a such a thing as a social media. I am the only person in human history that had a platform and that was advocating for dark skin. I created the actual lane, the actual topic. If it was not for me, thinking highly enough and being innovative enough to see dark skin as something to talk about, there would be no body on YouTube talking about colorism or darkism or dark skin in any capacity. That's a big, bold statement. And I make big, bold statements like that only when it's based on the truth. Prove me wrong. Nobody can ever prove me wrong. Because, see, that's the intellectual laziness that comes into play. It's easy to sit back and watch my videos and steal from me. It's easy for people that have no creativity. People that don't. It's not even about creativity. Because what I did was I combined my creative performing arts talents with dark skin activism but the key here is you have to have had the desire the genuine organic desire it don't come from watching a bitch youtube videos use a fraud use a fake and that's the thing the people that have copied and ripped me off you don't have the organic origin story of Rashida Strober, the dark skin activist. You might have the views. You might have the money, Lupita Nyong'o. You got that. But your shit is not organic and it ain't real. Get back on Lupita. Because people been sending me her videos. I don't look for this stuff. Y'all bring this stuff to me. People been sending me this this conjured up some interview that she did. I don't give a, which I don't give a fuck about it. But I'm going to call it out because you bring the shit to me. Lupita Nyong'o, you don't have the origin story of when you came onto the acting scene of saying I'm going to speak specifically about my dark skin you don't have that you jumped on the dark skin darkism Rashida Strober train in 2019 you are a beneficiary of my work somebody said I said benefactor you're right what I meant was beneficiary. You are a beneficiary like all the other dark skinned women on YouTube talking about dark skin, all the light skinned ones, all the brown skinned ones, all the black. All of y'all are beneficiaries of my work. That's what you are. And you're selfish. You are dishonest. I find you to be immoral. I find you to be women that cannot admit that another black woman gave you life regarding something that you didn't even understand that you was going through. I articulated it and put it into a format called dark skin activism and darkism that provided a framework for you to even talk about it. I'm going to keep spitting the truth. You upset about me calling these people out for stealing from me? That's your problem. I don't care. I don't care. Darkskinactivist.com. There's only one dark skin activist. There's only one. And that's Rashida Strober. The world's first and only dark skin activist. The woman responsible for creating this entire conversation on dark skin, darkism, colorism. You're not going to give it to another dark-skinned woman. You're not.